he was an inline thermostat on a Land Rover Discovery 2. I uh, played around with this over the last probably 10 years. It has been reliable. It's nice and simple. You can get access to it. That said, I would say if you're going to get one of these, think about where you're going to put a bleed screw when you do the install and also consider um, how supported it is. You can see on mine when that hose gets warm here and here with the coolant, you get a little bit of sagging. And so it actually started to rub. It was pushing down on the, uh, the radiator fan and melted this off. It wasn't as bad as this. I actually cut a lot of it off just so it was less of a, less of an eyesore to a degree. Um, but again, the big thing is how do you, how do you bleed this? You end up having to take it off and kind of put it in together because when you bleed it, your highest point is the coolant reservoir and here. So you got to take the coolant reservoir out, have it higher than this, fill that coolant reservoir up, and then as you're watching coolant come out of that pipe a little bit, you've got to quickly connect it again. And it's not perfect. And this, not as big of a deal because it's a drilled inner thermostat inside this thermostat housing, which allows the air to travel through the system and makes bleeding a lot easier. But if you didn't have that, you would need a bleed screw. So think about a bleed screw. Um, if I were to do it again, definitely be doing that.